Hello and welcome to today's Mini Mash Bytes session, which focuses on building a learning portfolio in Mini Mash. If your children are using Mini Mash, you probably already will have had their trays set up. However, if you haven't and you want to know how, you will need to just go back into Purple Mash and then access the Mini Mash settings area via the early years egg shape on the top of the screen. It's really important that if your children are working in Minimash that they have trays available in order to save their work. This is the key beginning to children beginning to bank the work as evidence um, and, and to show the progress that they're doing whilst learning online. Now because I'm assigned to multiple classes, if I scroll down to my reception class here, I can click on the class name and I can just ensure that the middle option is selected with yes. If yours is set to no, we highly recommend that you create a tray for each pupil, click save. Not only does this save you time, um, so you don't have to create your own, but also when a tray is created for you by Purple Mash and Mini Mash, it automatically links that child's tray with their Purple Mash work folder. So today, when we're thinking about building a learning portfolio, the work that they do in the Mini Mash area as part of their early years learning will then automatically move up with them into their Purple Mash work folder. And I'll demonstrate this during today's Mini Mash Byte. Now that the work trays have been created, if I return to Mini Mash, I can access the trays area and you'll see that I've already created um, colours and different icons or pictures for each one of my learners. If you haven't yet done this or are not sure how, simply click on the pencil icon on a child's tray. It will allow you to change the colour of the tray. And if you select the image icon, you can either search or select from the pre-created clip art. You could draw your own. You could take a selfie with a child's um, face on it so they can easily recognise their tray. Or for me, if I just quickly browse my device, I can upload an image of that child and press OK. Now, any work a child does in Minimash will be accessible from within their Minimash tray. I'm logged on as a teacher now. So if I click on Annabelle's tray here, I can open it up and I can scroll through and see the work she's done. It also allows me the opportunity to write any feedback, comments or notes for her. And I can also print out from within this space here. I'll now show you how things look like from a child's perspective. OK, I'm now impersonating Annabelle from her login. So when she clicks on her My Tray area, she'll find she only has access to her own tray. She can see her picture, she can recognise the colour of the tray, and you'll notice it's entitled My Tray. Within this tray, she has access to her work area as well. She will be able to print and delete and make her own comments as well. If a child is exploring in Minimash via their own login, whether they are indoors or outdoors, Go outside. they will be able to open up any activity and when they've done some work on the activity, the key thing they need to do is click on the green save and exit button. This will allow them to save the work to their own tray and you'll notice it automatically titles and dates the work for them. So they don't need to worry about typing in or worrying about any spellings or anything. Now that work has been added to Annabelle's My Work folder, her tray. She can find that from within Minimash. And when she moves onto Purple Mash when she goes to year one, that same contents, all of the work she's done during her time on Minimash will be there for her to access and for her year one teacher to see next year. I'm going to go back to my teacher settings now. And you'll find that that piece of work on the castle will now be in Annabelle's tray. So we've got the castle's piece of work that I can then write on should I wish. Now I'm going to exit Mini Mash and go to Purple Mash and just show you how I can quite easily select all of the pieces of work in Annabelle's tray and I can save that as a PDF that will 
document for me the entire contents of the work, show me the evidence, the work, the progress she's made during her time spent in Minimash. So I'm going to click on the Minimash logo and select Go to Purple Mash. And from my account here, I'm going to click on the Work folder at the top of the screen. Within here, I want to have a look at my reception class work. So I can expand the class folder by clicking on the arrow. I'm going to go down to the reception class and expand that. And now I want to find Annabelle's tray contents that will now, you'll see, be found within the Purple Mash work area too. Clicking on the arrow next to the word pupils, I'll then see that her name is at the top. By clicking on it, I can see the current contents of her tray. Just like I would be able to with any other Purple Mash work, I can click on the icon, I can add my own comment or voice note or pop an emoji response, and I can also click the mark button to see things in greater detail, maybe to add some markup and save file corrections as well. But if I wanted just to export the contents of Annabelle's tray, into a PDF that I can save or I can print out, I can easily do that just by selecting all by holding down my shift button on the keyboard. In the top right hand corner, you'll see the three dots and within here, I can select print. Now what's handy about the print option is that I can choose firstly whether I want to include any teacher or pupil file comments. So I can just click the tick box if I do. But when I click print, it doesn't go straight to the printer. Instead, what it does is it creates a PDF for me and it compiles all the contents of the files that I've highlighted into one document. So I can either choose to send it to the printer all in one go. But what's particularly handy is that it will compile a record, as you can see here, of Annabelle's work. It gives me a date and time stamp as well to show me when the work was completed. And I can easily click through and see the work that that child has done. It's a nice way just to be able to extract the contents of a child's workspace. And as you can see, the main benefit here is that children, when they are working in Minimash, it doesn't mean that you as a teacher have to base yourself entirely in this area. You can very easily just click on a child's name within your Purple Mash work folder and you'll be able to see the work that they've done in their tray. Hopefully that's given you an idea to kind of illustrate the link between Minimash and Purple Mash. And also if you are using third party software, for example, Tapestry, or if you're using um, Evidence Me, for example, these are great ways in which you can easily extract the contents of children's learning and help create these either in a printable format or a digital file that you can then attach to and use within any other software apps that you might have access to in your setting. Hope you found today's session useful. As always, if you want to find any further support or information, do click on the teachers icon at the top of the screen, select the professional development tab, and in here we've got lots of different resources. I'm sure you'll be familiar with the webinars option because that's how you've accessed today's uh, mini mash bite. But within here, if we can provide you with any further guidance, then by all means, please feel free to click on the mash chats option. This is where you can book a telephone or a Teams meeting with one of our CPD team and we can go through and answer any questions or provide any further guidance that you may require. Thank you for your time today. I hope you found it useful. Goodbye.